Lane Bearden will kick off. Bearden, high school teammate of backup quarterback Tyler Watts. And he kicks off. Ray Perkins along with McGrath. And it's Jared McGrath across the 20. And he stops right there. Watch Carson here. Roll out by Zolman. Simone across the middle, across mid midfield into Alabama territory. And the rollout works extremely well. Spencer on the tackle. Millen stands at his tent. Big punt return against oh, UCLA last week. Millen's let it go oh. over his head into the end zone. That is a touchback. Ryan Alds in the middle, a guy you talked about, Dave, that needs to step up today. Had a chance for a big play early on. It's second down to nine. John Draper tied in, moves to tackle, involved in the first play. First attempt in the 20 for the Commodores. Here's McGrath. He's got some room. He gets about seven on the play, close to the 30 yard line. Thank you, Charles. Zolman, first down. Commodores out to the 33 yard line. Ray Perkins in a tailback, the true freshman. Great tools. Gets the handoff. Runs into his offensive lineman, or he could have picked up a lot more. He's close to the first down. Kenny King on the stop. Zolman to pass. Has his man open. Boy, virtually Dan no Stricker. Rush. First down Commodores. They're into Alabama territory. Millen stands at his tent. Webb, six punts last week, 38-yard oh, average. Oh, High spiral. Just catch it. Catch it. Bounces. It could be down at the one-inch line. Oh, my. Or close to it. <laughs> wow. They certainly miss Jimmy Williams. And there is Mike Adam, 34. In the middle. That's a play pass here. That's it. Play pass. He's out. Rolls out of the pocket. We'll keep it. Close to the first down. Flipped upside down. This is a big down right here. You know it's going to be straight ahead. Big man on big man. Here they come. Oh, fumble. Who's got it this time? Boy, oh, that'll, that'll make your teeth grind if you're the head coach. See him hold it right there? That's the exact position. Going to be close. Oh, it's game of inches, isn't it? But you see right there, Mike Dubose came over and... Oh, that's... Uh, what's That's not uh, Mike. That's uh, the uh, offensive coordinator. Ronald Hatcher back to return the punt. He lets it bounce. And it turns out to be a low-line drive punt that works pretty good for the Crimson Tide. A great student from right here just uh, outside of Birmingham. Matter of fact, his mom works here at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. I only made one be at Penn State. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not get into that. <laughs> Here's Rodney Williams. He turns the corner. First down, Commodores. Freddie Millen's back to receive. He stands at the 16. It's a high kick, kind of wobbly. Millen's oh. interfered with. Flags come down. Millens may be hurt. At contact, interference on the kick catch by the kicking team, 15 yards from the spot of the foul, first Ooh, Big penalty, 15 yards. Yeah. And off to Galloway. He's got more. Gain of 10 for Galloway. That should be enough for the first down. Harold Lurcius in the secondary brings him down. Sam Collins, number seven, one of the wide receivers. And he goes to Collins. Inside the 40, first down. Antoine Bradford makes the stop for the Commodores. It's going to be low trajectory. Career longs, 51. Right, He's got a leg. Oh, got it. Wow. Neil Thomas, the junior from Clinton, Mississippi. It's a bomb. This guy's got all the tools. Two tight ends in the game. A little play action. Oh, a lot of time. Zolman, short arm it. And he's looking, yeah, he's looking for some pass interference. Dan I Stricker. I think he's going to get it. But they need to find Carson a little bit more. They haven't been able to find him much in the game. Here's Perkins. Great speed to the outside. Across the 50. You see the kind of speed and why the coaches love him. First down, Commodores. Perkins still in the game. 
Carson in motion. And off to Perkins again. He gets some good block to the outside. Going to be about a yard shy of the first down inside the 40. Alabama proud in the box. He got eight up front. Third down and two. Perkins breaks a tackle. It's going to be very close to the first down. First and ten. Zolman under pressure. Unloads it. Has his man. Then Simone the tight end. He gains nine. Zolman hits the deck. Nice play by the quarterback. Oh, outstanding play. And you know, I see those great decisions by Zolman that time. Doesn't fail, force the ball in trouble, but just a heads up play. Little option. Pitch to Williams. He gets the first down. It's first down and 10 for the doors. That's Elliott Carson, the tight end in motion. Little play action off of Perkins. Zolman has his man Stricker. Inside the five to the three yard line. Great play action and a flag down. Maybe a late hit against the Crimson Tide. The middle linebacker with a bad knee seeing his first action. Good check, rolls out wide. Here's the pitch to McGrath. Good block, touchdown Commodores. Oh, you cannot play that any better than Zolman did on that. Down the line, reads the linebacker. That linebacker closes on him, bang, he pitches it. Last week, three of seven, 27 yards. One of those guys, Watts or Zhao, had much going. Also, Brandon Myrie, the redshirt freshman in that tailback. And of about six. And in 1992, the first SEC championship game was played here, and it was the Crimson Tide memory that they will, won't will soon forget as Alabama beat Florida 28-21 on Antonio Langham interception return for a TD. It was big, 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 big. Their defense came out, stopped them. They've got almost four minutes left. A lot of things can happen. Will let it bounce and it'll roll out of bounds at the 34. Alabama gets back for the block or for the return. Willens catches it on a low line drive punt. Guys pile up on him and flag comes oh. down. You know what happened there? They're going to call him. I don't know if he fair caught or not, but he was down on the ground. But I think that number 40, Morrow, thought that it was the ball had come out. See, we're two defensive players. We see that. Yeah. <laughs> Charles and I. Swing out wide open. Come on, Galloway. Did he get the first down? Let's see where his knee came down. No, short. Short by a yard. What do you think? Flag down at the 16, holding against Alabama. So Vanderbilt takes the penalty to bring up third and 21. Clock ticking, 135 to go before halftime. Three wide outs in the game. Running back is Galloway. He swings out. Zhao under pressure. Falls at the five. They may take a delay here. They're going to let go. Oh, they let go all the way to one. Vanderbilt doesn't have any timeouts left. That's why they didn't take it. Hatcher takes a knee at about the 38, but they do have some time. He needs 39 points to become Vandy's scoring, all-time scoring champion. Hit a 19-yarder last week against Miami of Ohio. And this one's from 48. It's up. It's definitely long enough. It's and he missed it. Oh. You saw all those Alabama fans in the end zone stand up and cheer. You knew it wasn't going through the center. Markham definitely hit it hard enough. Oh, he had plenty of leg. He drove it into the stands. Well, Vanderbilt in this one. They missed that field goal, but they only trail by three. It's 10 to seven right now. The Commodores putting together a couple of pretty good drives against this Alabama defense. Alabama sputtering somewhat at an explosive 80-yard touchdown run by Ahmad Galloway on their second play from scrimmage. And that was their touchdown. Since then, Vandy's defense has been playing quite well for Woody Woodenhofer. Hard to believe Alabama's only thrown the football five times. Andrew Zhao just doesn't look like he is in any kind of rhythm. I think the four fumbles that he's had with the center Paul Hogan has really hampered him a little bit today. Millens about four yards deep. He'll bring it out. Oh, wow. I can't believe him coming all the way from out there. He'll bring it out to the 14 before he's tripped up and good special teams coverage. They can't make a mistake right now. You don't want to leave. This is a dangerous series for Alabama. Ronald Hatcher back to return the punt for the Commodores. He'll take it at the 
45 gets a couple great field position for Vanderbilt to open up their second half offensively Greg Zolman the quarterback of the Commodores has his team first and 10 from the Bama 40 a razzle dazzle going up top he's got his man Stricker inside the 15 to the 14 look at that fine Stricker but he had Garrett right down the center I mean he was wide open big play nonetheless first and 10 Here's McGrath, he has some running room. He's down to the six yard line. Carson in motion. Second down and five. McGrath to the outside, cuts it back inside. Down to the four, down to the two. Keeps his oh. legs moving. McGrath, did he get in? Oh, he's down about the foot line. Straight up the middle. Get a check in motion. Here's McGrath. He fakes it. Quarterback sneak. Did he get in? I thought he got in. I thought he got in. The official coming in. The official marking it. No, they're going to mark it short. Here we go. Quick set by Vandy. Fourth and inches. Quarterback sneak. Did he get in? He got penetration. Third down, gives it to Galloway. First down, and inside. Out across the 20 yard line, Vandy had him. Gain of 21. Galloway goes over 100. There's a flag. I think this was the illegal substitution. 12 men, five yard penalty, still first down. 12 men in the huddle. Ronald Hatcher back to return the Lane Beard punt. And averaging 40 yards today. End over end kick. Hatcher takes it. Stutter step inside the 45 to the 42. Once again, great field position. Millen stands at his 10. Joe Webb to punt, averaging about 36. Had one down at the one yard line earlier today. This is a wobbly end over end kick. And he can't get there to keep it from going into the end zone. Well, I think Mike DuBose might be thinking about those four mishandles on the snap from center. Watts didn't seem to have that problem. Galloway. It's about five. Vanderbilt's play tough, Dave. Only six first downs all day for Alabama. That's incredible. That's no offensive consistency. Well, there's number seven. Well, you, you get to a point in the game, I mean, there's 55 seconds left in this third quarter, and you say, how much longer is Alabama going to let Vanderbilt in this game? But Vanderbilt is staying in the game. Hatcher takes it from his spot. It's a couple of yards, not a whole lot. Well, if you're Alabama, you're thinking, you got to get a turnover, you got to get a mistake. And make something happen. Great heads up play in the backside. Great Marcus up. Spencer, the senior out of York, Alabama, stayed at home with his fifth tackle. Alabama's coming after him, too. Look at this. Nine men on the line of scrimmage. High kick, not very long by Webb, and Millens calls a fair catch straight up at the 50 yard line. Nonetheless, they'll get the ball as they stop the tie. Great kick, Hatcher back. Let's it go into the end zone. That'll be a touchdown. Bring, touchback brings it out to the 20. Camera doesn't lie. Official just missed it. Zolman. Oh, look at the time he has. Stricker bounces off one player close to the 30, about a yard shy of the first down. And guess what, folks? A flag. This has been a flag fest. In the last offensive pass interference. Half the distance game. to the goal line, repeating first down. Not a bad play, about a 40-yard play. If he intercepts it, it's like an intercept. It's like a punt. Millen stands at midfield. Joe Webb's punt, high punt, fair catch by Millen. You got to wrap him up. You got to hold on. You got to wait for help. You can't let go. There's Lurches runs right through that one. Well, Dustin, 
celebrates a birthday tomorrow. Out of Quinlan, Texas. Would love a victory here. Little option. Inside the 10, run out of bounds at the eight yard line by Jonathan Schaub. Galloway, 13 carries, 172 yards. It's first down and goal from the nine. The option, right, Kitchen. Touchdown, Kitchen tied, Tyler Watts. Zolman at 120 yards passing and one TD, but it was Sean Alexander's day. But here's Ray Perkins. Could this be his day to the outside? Spencer and Lewis run him out of bounds. Quality players, the person both on the field and off the field. I mean, you know he was one of my favorites. The play action. Zolman with some time over the middle. He's got Stricker at midfield. Stricker inside the 30, inside the 20. Run out of bounds at the 15 by Milo Lewis. A huge play for the Commodores. They're in business. They call it a fumble. Who's got it? I thought it was a pass. His hand was definitely moving forward from my angle. Well, you got to come away with points if you're Vanderbilt. This will put them down by one score. They need it. Markham missed from 48. This is from 41. It's hooking right inside. Got it. 41-yarder is good by John Markham, and Vanderbilt now only trails by a touchdown, and there's a lot of time left. Nearly eight and a half minutes to go. Brandon Myrie is the tailback. He gets the handoff. Puts it to the outside. Myrie to the 24-yard line. That'll be a first down, a gain of 14. You don't overlook him now anymore. Used to, but you don't overlook him anymore. Play action. Watts. Across the 30 to the 32, brought down by Nate Morrow, and now has seven tackles unofficially. His offense would love another crack at it as we approach six and a half minutes to go in the contest. There's a blitz. The option. Watts gets the first down. They can't afford a mistake here. Watts to Collins. Great catch by Sam Collins. Three wide outs. Myrie the tailback. He gets the football. Busted up the middle. Brandon Myrie inside the 20. Still on his feet. Oh, boy. Brandon Myrie takes it. 41 yards for the touchdown. Certainly got the fans back into the game. Nine here to kick off. Perkins. Ray spun around, didn't get back to the 15. Roman under pressure, has to unload it. He stayed in the pocket, that is grounding. The pressure came from Jared Johnson. The problem with Zolman is he didn't get outside the tackles. Intentional grounding on the end zone. Safety. The safety is in the end zone. They're going to go with John Markham to kick it. Oh, he kicks out of bounds. Oops. Oh, Another boy. flag. How appropriate. Now Ford is going to become a hero, a legend. I don't know if about a hero, but certainly we will all know his name. Golly, it's coming out to the 50. Kick off out of bounds. Ball goes at the 50-yard line. First down. 240 yards. for Tyler Watts. Inside the 40, run out of bounds. There's something just not there. He's a little bit tentative on his passes. He was underthrown. He dropped the four balls trying to get out fast. Maybe sitting him down for a week would relax him a little bit and maybe he can get his composure back. The punt bounces. Guess what, Dave, at the 40-yard line? As Alabama downs it at the one-foot line? And yet another flag is down. Well, backed up on the one as Vanderbilt has got 99 and a half yards to go. That ain't going to get it done. A safety 
by the Crimson Tide as Cornelius Wortham steps up to tackle Jeremy McGrath about five yards deep. Boy, Wortham that time exploded through the tackle. That's how you tackle. What you do is you don't wait for him to come. You don't kind of squat down, get in that hit formation. You run through him. Vandy will fall to 0 and 2. And that will do it. Alabama will win their 156th game against 51 losses here at Legion Field. They'll do it again next week against Southern Mississippi. But Woody Woodenhofer doesn't need any more moral victories. He wants some in the W column. Mike DeBose has got one. Alabama now one and one. We'll come back to Legion Field with more as the Tide win it 28 to 10.